Hi there, I'm Dr. Adam Abs. In this short video, I'll show you how to safely perform a cell swab coronavirus test at home and how to return it to our lab for analysis. When you order your COVID-19 test kit from MedicSpot, you can choose either instant collection at one of our COVID test hubs or use one of our priority courier services to get your kit delivered to you. When you receive your kit, you'll find that it contains a swab or two, sometimes we have a spare. There's also a sample tube containing a liquid to help stabilize the swab as it's transported to the lab. Then there's a clear plastic sealable bag. Instructions on how to take your sample. Importantly, instructions on how to register your kit. And finally, a box with a security label so that you can send it back to us. Remember, please only perform the test if you feel comfortable doing so. Unpack the test kit and lay everything out. Then prepare for the test by blowing your nose and then washing your hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds. Now you can unpack the swab from the sterile pack and take it out. Be careful not to contaminate the swab by touching it on anything other than the back of your mouth or the inside of your nostrils. Now I'm going to switch to my recorded voice. Then, using a mirror to look at the back of your throat, you need to stroke the swab across the back wall of your throat softly, making five circles at least. Then, remove the swab from your mouth, being careful that it doesn't touch your teeth, tongue or roof of your mouth as you take it out. Now for the nostrils. Using the same swab, insert the fabric end into one of your nostrils making sure that it doesn't touch any other part of your face. Back to my recorded voice again. Hold it gently between your thumb and forefinger and push gently until it stops. This is normally two to three centimeters in. Keep the swab there and do five full circles. Next, carefully remove the swab and repeat it in your other nostril, five times again. It wasn't that bad, I promise. Before sending the swab, you may need to snap off any excess stem. Then place the swab into the sample tube, which contains the liquid. And ensure the lid is closed securely. Next, place the sample tube inside the clear plastic bag. And be sure to seal it firmly. Next, place a clear plastic bag inside the sample box marked UN3373. And finally, close the box. And attach the security seal, where it says apply security seal. and that will seal your box ready for sending. Before returning your kit, please ensure that you have done three things. Number one, the most important thing is to make sure that you've registered your kit online. You'll find instructions on how to do this in your test kit. If you don't do this, your test will be discarded. Number two, make sure the swab has been placed inside the box. And number three, make sure the box has been sealed using the security seal. Then you need to return your completed kit for testing and sit back and wait for the results. You will receive an email notification or a telephone call when your results are ready.